never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Mambo Jumbo, my lovely, loveliest, lovely people Welcome back to the channel, new subscribers <laughs> Let me do that again <laughs> Mambo Jumbo, my lovely, lovely people, welcome back to the channel. New subscribers, hello. Where have you been? Thank you so much for joining this amazing, wonderful family right here on, on Trending. And of course, to my returning subscribers, as always, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nicest that you did to me on this specific channel, including correction. Yes, we do take those. And of course, you do know that I do not, will never take you for granted, even one bit. Christmas list was in court yesterday i want us to look at one thing pretty first like quick quick and then we call it a day because first it's a long weekend on my end <laughs> we have a weekend on monday <laughs> no a holiday <laughs> we have a holiday on monday so that means it's a long weekend friday saturday sunday monday oh it's time to sit back and do a lot of things and i've got something coming up tomorrow that i need to really quickly do today so i don't want to be holding you for so long or also holding myself here for a pretty long time so now chris went to court yesterday and uh not went really i understand he appeared in court virtually oh i was like all right because i thought thought he was going to physically be there but anyways he did it virtually so now there are things that have come up one major thing concerning his passport that i want us to be looking at because hello what happened i think a week ago when he was released from this arrest stroke detainment it was said that he was given his passport it was ordered that he be given his passport and then I remember he did some you know he did a video and said that now his passport is in his possession so there's a bit of confusion right here and that is what i want to look at but before we go on you know guys i get my information from daily express trinidad express newspapers and we have been relying on what they say since he was detained Canadian YouTuber Christopher Christmas List Hughes has informed the courts he is hoping to leave Trinidad and Tobago today. Hughes' matter was called yesterday, which was Thursday, before Acting Chief Magistrate Christine Charles. So he's supposed to leave Trinidad and Tobago, was hoping to leave today. It was held virtually right so he appeared in court virtually like we had said earlier he was charged with sedition following the release of videos showing men in the country who profess to be in gangs the offense has a maximum sentence of three thousand dollars fine or two years imprisonment hughes has pleaded not guilty of course he is currently out on bail set at a hundred thousand dollars he is being represented by a team of attorneys including Pamela Elder, SC, Anand Ramlogan, SC, and Razzle Warner. The state is being represented by attorney Daniel Thompson during the hearing. The court was informed that the state had yet to receive the full file of the matter from the complainant, the charging officer. Thompson indicated she expects to receive these documents by next week. Once this is done, statements will have to be sworn. The court will be informed that this process should be completed by July 22. The defense was then given until August 19th to give evidential objections, defense statements, and notices of legal submissions. The court was also informed that Hugh's passport was never taken from the registry as he had not left the country. This is what I could not understand because, hello, when we were here first, I'm talking about this issue uh, concerning his passport last week, asking if he's going to be flying out of the country. He did a video, came and said that the passport is now in his possession. And the questions were, why are you not leaving the country? Why are you not going back? And then you come back because anyways, if this was held virtually, I mean, I could be allowed to overthink, but why is it that you're here? You can fly back to Canada, see your wife and children that you've been crying, wanting to see, and then come back if you need to come back and, of course, show up in court. So, I'll repeat again. 
The court was informed that Hugh's passport was never taken from registry as he had not left the country. Let us play these receipts and then we come back concerning this passport issue. Christmas list. So two days ago, I was granted all my conditions on my bill have been removed. My passport has been brought to me. I'm free to travel home. Uh, I need to come back for my next court. Now, didn't make sense for me to leave for three days, get all excited and hugging and kissing my family and I have to come back. So I decided I'm gonna stay put. Why is that important? Because for those people that said, at my first opportunity, I'm gonna run and never come back, point proven, false. I am going to fight these allegations, these this offense, because I'm 100% innocent. So further proof that I'm not looking to run from the country. For those that said, cut your loss, Chris, just get out of there. That's not exactly how this works. This is a criminal charge. And if convicted would remain on my, my record, and, and that would not allow me to visit other countries. And my mission is to see every country in the world. Because I have a few more seconds, I'd also like to slap in the face more information. I read in newspapers that, Chris, you were arrested and in, in, in kicked out of Cuba and Somalia. Okay? No, no, no. The reason I got granted bail is because Interpol came back and I have never been arrested anywhere else. More fake news. In Cuba, I was detained in question for 13 days, never arrested, never convicted. Somalia, never arrested, never convicted, and never kicked out of the country. All fake news. All right. So let us continue with this article. Hughes indicated he was hoping to return to Canada today. However, the return of his passport was not addressed during the hearing as the court informed Hughes that an application for his passport would have to be made at the High Court and that his attorneys would treat with his process. A request was also made for the electronic equipment taken from Hughes during the course of the investigation to be returned to him. This matter is expected to be recalled on August 23. Last month, Hughes was detained and later charged with sedition. Hughes had previously told the Express he was looking forward to clearing his name and would be pro producing content to highlight the country and all the warmth he has experienced from its people. And that is the update that we have, of course, from Christmas list. I do understand he cannot leave Trinidad. He cannot even go to Tobago. <laughs> He's held in Trinidad until his next hearing or when he'll be appearing back to court, which is in August, as we have said. So there were, of course, questions on the street. I went to Instagram and he had put a video up there and I want us to be playing that receipt and then we come back and still ask questions and try to understand this issue concerning his passport because in one of his comments to one of the people one of the commenters on his instagram he came and said that he's not had his passport since his initial initial <laughs> initial <laughs> initial arrest that happened the first time and guys were like but when you came out when you were released last week you said you had your passport what's the tingle How's the thing go? Because we are not understanding the issue. Let us start with the receipt that he put out and then we come here and then read, of course, what was put on Instagram and try to understand if this guy has his passport, he, he, is his passport magically with him one minute and it's not with him the next? Or what exactly is the confusion on the street because I was not the only person confused. Receipts and then we come back. I've had a lot of sleepless nights. Normally I hide behind my glasses. I'm not an overly religious man, but thought I'd walk over here. There's crosses here, here, here. It's very peaceful. A little peaceful piece of land, but I did not get good news today. I didn't get bad news, but I didn't get good news. My next court hearing is the end of August, and unless a miracle happens, I'm here. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm not able to return home. A lot to digest. I thought in my mind I was heading home to see my wife and kids. It's not going to be that easy. This is going to be a tough, long battle that's going to be stretched out. I'm strong. It's not the news that I wanted, but it's the news I'm going to have to deal with. So, Here in Trinidad, fighting for my freedom. I know a lot of people, a lot of media is out to get me with lies. 
I'm going to make me a stronger man. What more can I say? That is today's update. Bye for now. One person here on Instagram came to say you should have left once you got your passport back. And then Chris came under that comment and said, I don't have my passport. It has been taken away since my initial arrest. So which is this one that he said he is having? Which is this that he said is in his possession when he was released last week? That is my question. Someone else did say, so they took your passport again because this is confusion what are we not understanding right here in this equation and then chris says yes another person says wtf no this person said again i just read a comment where he said they never gave it back to him since the first arrest so i'm very confused this other person said that's what i'm wondering because the first because first he said he got his passport. This world is crazy. Hashtag freedom for all. Now, there's a continuation on that thread, which is, I'm sorry, bro. Really wish things were different. Stay strong. And another comment 12 hours ago saying that he or they took it, being the passport, back from him yesterday. Sh it. Sh <laughs> Sh <laughs> S H I T don't make sense. Chris came down to clarify and said, Why is it hard for you to understand that my passport was available for four days only? My bail conditions stated that my passport needed to be resubmitted on Wednesday morning or I breach my conditions and go back to jail. This isn't rocket science. Someone else came to correct him and said, you also said that they had took your passport from you since your initial arrest. We'll continue to read because we need to understand. Okay? Chris, you said last week after the court, you got your passport back and all restrictions removed. But they kept your camera and laptop, which is true because that is also what I understood from what was brought out and what he said. You have a court date next week and it wouldn't make sense for you to leave the country for a week, but you could leave if you wanted to. There's no restrictions on traveling. That's what you said last week after the court. So how now you ain't have no passport that you not making sense. You're not making sense in show. He came down there, Christmas list, to say, my passport had to be submitted by 8 a.m. yesterday at the police station. And then another person, this one, again came and said, you said all conditions were lifted and you could have left the country, so why would they ask for your passport to be surrendered by 8 a.m. on June 12th when you could have been anywhere in the world, just turn up to court on the 13th of June? That's all. I don't understand what happened. Is there a new charge? What did you breach? Did you breach? <laughs> did you breach a condition? Although you said you had no restrictions, what happened because this is confusing? And that is the only question I have to ask as well because I'm not understanding. Okay, I'm out here waiting for my chicken to be cooked. And I see a lot of comments and questions regarding my passport. Did I have it? Did I not have it? Uh, let me explain this to you very quickly. During my second bail hearing, I was granted four days to return home, meaning I had the opportunity to go to the police station and get my passport for four days only. I would have had to resubmit my passport to the police station eight o'clock in the morning yesterday. That's factual. That did not give me ample time to go home. I didn't want to go all the way home. I haven't seen my family in two months. Uh, and I would have had to return for under 48 hours and then have to say goodbye to them. It didn't make sense. I thought I'm going to wait until today's hearing, then go home for a month or two. Okay, so yes, I was granted the opportunity to get a passport, my passport back for four days only. I didn't go. If you notice, I did not leave the country. Therefore, I did not pick up my passport. I never physically had the passport, although I had the opportunity to get it. All my conditions on my bill have been removed. My passport has been brought to me. I'm free to travel home. Uh, I need to come back for my next court. Lastly, someone else came in and said, 
take a little trip in Tobago and explore Tobago and get some new content. And Chris said, I can't leave Trinidad at all. So does this mean that he's held in Trinidad until August when he's supposed to appear, reappear back to court? That is my question. It says Christmas list leaves Trinidad and Tobago today. <laughs> but yet I'm here. Fake news. I'm not going anywhere because I don't have a passport. I don't have the ability to leave. This just shows you, this is mainstream media with lies. All my conditions on my bill have been removed. My passport has been brought to me. I'm free to travel home. Uh, I need to come back for my next court. Lies, I wanna leave, I can't. I'm stranded here. My next court date is the 22nd of August. And unless a miracle happens, I'm here until then. So guys, live and learn. Do not keep falling for this fake news. If you want authentic news, you follow me. Comes from the horse's mouth. And if you don't believe me, check it out tomorrow. You'll see me here, Trinidad and Tobago. I love you. I'm confused as well. Anybody who understands, <laughs> anyone who understands this tingo can go ahead and let us understand and expound more because I'm also trying to wrap my head around it. And yeah. So we went to know what the issue is going to be. I remember we came here and we had lives and you guys also had your own time on the chat section talking and advising Chris, you know, if you were to go home last week, just go home and then come back. But he came to say, oh, money this, money that, I cannot. So instead of wasting money back and forth, let me just wait for my, you know, hearing again this week, yesterday, which was Thursday. And now there's something else that has cropped up and there are issues on the street because someone is asking, have you breached something else? Meaning, now your passport had to be taken from you or what exactly is going on? I don't know what the tingle is. Please, again, if you understand, let us understand. Let us know what is going on. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know these things. If you are well, you know, you know these things. In your own terms if you can simplify it for us to understand please do so i'm waiting to see what other reactors are going to be seeing on this case because hello we need to gather information here and there this is not a one-stop <laughs> information center what i've said here could be not true because i'm relying on another source i was not there we rely on what has been brought out and put on the street and then we come here and brainstorm make our own analysis and the team goes so what is what I could see he made a video yesterday and uh, he was not really happy and like i said earlier he looks you know now his face is different he's got all these bumps i don't know what is going on of course if you look at him you know that this man is not okay but we've been also here on the street to say chris why would you want to be in trini why would you want to go back on the street and talk this and that have you gotten permission to go on these you know tv stations meet other people and still talk about this issue that is still in court you coming out and saying that oh when i get out i'll still be re-uploading or bringing back and privating my videos and okay, we were here to say yo relax what's the big deal so as soon as he got out last week he put back his videos on youtube and i was like yo is there a reason why you were taking it you are taken in and is there a reason why you're bringing back your videos is there a reason why you're still going out and talking about guns is there a reason why you're still going out you know to be poking the governance of trinidad and tobago in the questions you're asking on the street and in my own opinion i was like yo relax chill calm wait until you're out of at least trinidad and Tobago and then you can go back to Canada or wherever you want to go Jamaica and be doing your own shenanigans so please make me understand what the tingo there's nothing going on <laughs> in my other niches Marwa and Dim Wango <laughs> there's no content <laughs> there's nothing new that they're bringing on the table so why would I come here and want to talk about them whereas we've got Trinidad and Tobago and Christmas list issue that is ongoing and there's updates that were brought out to the street from yesterday if you understand the tingle make us understand the tingle as well oh I've said understand 
<laughs> make us understand the tingle as well i appreciate you being on this video today if you're not subscribed and would love to subscribe always know that you're free to do so if you haven't liked this video go ahead and like it of course guys leave your comments on the comment section or insults if you know or you think you know more than the rest of us come down there calmly and educate us because we need to understand and of course do not do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on my next upload which is definitely definitely going to be tomorrow have a lovely weekend and of course guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye go, 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 go.